Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. I recently saw this clip of St. Louis Blues forward Ryan O'Reilly doing this tappy tappy in ball routine, which is awesome. So I thought, hey, there's probably someone out there that's wondering how a player goes about learning how to do this. How in the heck do you do that? See what I mean? Thank you NHL for posting and thank you Mr. O'Reilly for coming up with this sweet ball tapping pattern. So without further ado, let's get things going with Hockey 101, the art of ball taps and tricks. Ball taps are a fun way to develop softer hands, coordination, concentration, and a much improved sty factor. But what if you've never tried any type of ball trick or tapping pattern? You don't have to worry as I got you covered and will show you all the necessary steps in order to build towards the level at which Mr. O'Reilly is at. Just know that every hockey player at one point tried this for the first time. It's going to be awkward and frustrating for a bit, but just stick with it and before you know it, you'll be doing some super cool routines that will sharpen your stick skills for when you need them at a moment's notice on the ice. First, what type or kind of ball should you use? If this is a new skill you're trying to acquire, there are two balls I recommend. A softball size wiffle ball and also a baseball size one as well. We'll start out with the larger one. The first step is to get the ball moving. We're going to use the toe of the blade and pull it towards our body. We're going to pull our stick through our bottom hand and let the ball roll on top of the stick blade and it looks like this. Once you get that figured out, now we're going to add the scoop and it looks like this. Next, as you scoop it up, try to catch it on the stick blade and it looks like this. Now I think it's time for you to start tapping it in the air. Start with one, once you get that, then go for two and it looks like this. You want to be in control of the ball and not chasing it around the room. To increase the difficulty slightly, now we're going to go from the forehand blade to the forehand shaft. You then can add forward movement as well as backward movement. And for this last forehand progression, I want you facing sideways and we're going to incorporate the wall and it looks like this. For backhand taps, focus on tapping near the heel of the blade. This is where the blade is the flattest. If the ball hits towards the toe of the blade, it'll always send the ball away from you. Our first progression is to pull the ball in, pop it up with the forehand, and then tap it on the backhand. From there we're going to pop it up, get it on the backhand, and then go from the backhand shaft to the backhand blade. From there let's combo it up and go forehand to backhand. Then you're going to tap it on the backhand and keep the ball on the backhand side of the body as you move forward and then backwards. If you're getting the hang of it and want to make it more challenging, switch to the smaller wiffle ball, a tennis ball, or a racket ball. For this last pattern, I wanted to do the same one Mr. O'Reilly demonstrated, but the gap between my walls is too wide, so I had to increase the difficulty a bit by adding some side-to-side -side movement, and here's how it works. The room is divided into two halves. On the backhand side of the body, you'll be using the forehand, and when you cross over the center of the room to the other side, switch over to the backhand side of the body. And here's what it looks like when sidestepping back and forth. See how many times over and back you can achieve. To make it more challenging, you can switch over to a smaller ball like a racquetball, or to really jack it up a notch, try to do it opposite hand. Well that should keep you busy for the next little bit. I'll be creating additional ball trick videos down the road, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Lastly, if you like the video, do coach a solid and share it with a few people in your hockey circle. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Learn something new every day. Outwork your competition and have a great day. I'll see you next time.